This is Ranger, a two-year-old English setter of the best shooting strain in America. Just a beginner in his art, but oh so anxious to make good. And this is Bob, the old master. And here's Mr. Pheasant, a big, tough, hard-to-bag old bird quite capable of taking care of himself under all conditions. He's a fully naturalized citizen, although his ancestors came from China. The first ring-necked pheasants were introduced into Oregon in 1880. Today, they are one of our finest and most plentiful game birds in practically all states north of the Mason-Dixon line. In South Dakota alone, it is estimated there are 28 million of them. And he's a wise old... There is no better medicine for a man's soul than a beautiful fall day out in the field with his gun and a couple of fine hunting dogs. Just the picture of a point like this and to watch your four-footed pals do their stuff is something to be long remembered and recompense enough for a day well spent. Guided by scent, the dogs know that old Nick has been here a few minutes before and cautiously follow the trail of his sly departure. Steady. Instinctively, Ranger freezes on point. Boy, nice going, especially when you're using a 28 gauge shotgun and number nine shot. That's much lighter or more sporting, shall we say, than most folks use. But when it brings home the pheasant for the dinner table, that's all that matters. Well, that's one toward our limit. Now, where are those pheasant hunting four-footed pals of ours? That pup's catching on fast. Look how steady the old master holds his point. There he goes, and just watch the beautiful work of these fine dogs. boss, here he is again. Ranger is not quite sure of himself, but he takes his cues from old Bob, and he sure is trying to do things right. Come on, Ranger, says Bob. That old can't do this to us. Got him. There he is. Now where's that slowpoke boss of mine? What does he think this is anyhow? An all day wait? And there he goes. But that's the way it works out sometimes. Uh-oh. What's this? A rabbit. What a mistake. Gosh, I hope the boss doesn't find out about that one or I'll never live it down. Good boy, Ranger. And here's something. Two fine dogs on perfect point and the bird in the same picture. Dusted him. 
This is going to be too easy. But is it? <laughs> the amount of game one gets that matters most, there's a lot more to all this, as every man knows. Now hold still, Bob, and let me get that old fur out of your ear. Here's another one. Steady now, Ranger. Let's make this one count. That's what is called nice work, and old Bob's mouth is so gentle that he hardly ruffles a feather on a retrieve. This is Ranger's first season. He's not entirely sure of himself, but he certainly is doing his part and learning mighty fast. is right there to get it. Nice going, boy. Here's a really remarkable scene. Just watch that pup. There's no mystery about this to old Bob. He's steady as a rock because he knows all the answers. And watch this. Ranger makes the retrieve, but on his way in, he does something which proves beyond all doubt his inherited qualities as a fine bird dog. He drops his dead bird and comes to a point in support of old Bob, who has located another bird. But it's been such a long day, and the excitement has been just too much for the pup. He's just got to sit down and rest. After that demonstration, we didn't dare to miss our board. Tired but proudly, Ranger again picks up his bird and brings it in. And as the old master brought in the other bird, we think he too was a wee bit proud of his promising pupil. It's all in a day's hunting. And we're glad the Chinese ring-necked pheasant has become a naturalized citizen. For not only is he marvelous material for a feast, but he provides many a grand day of sport for a man and his dog.